Hello and welcome to this Bite Size PD. Uh, the topic is Quizlet and Quizlet Live. I'm um, just skipping through the first few slides, um, but just a reminder about everything we do here in Canyon, especially when I do professional development. So I always like to connect them to our instructional practices, our MTSS framework. And when it comes to Quizlet and Quizlet Live, it really can um, support the evidence-based instructional priorities. Uh, the learning intention I'm going to share focuses on how you can use them for opportunities to respond. However, when it comes to using Quizlet, the, based on the context and your learning objectives, or even the purpose of utilizing them, you might find that it can support probably systematic vocabulary, uh, possibly the um, instructional hierarchy, the acquisition, automaticity, and application. Um, but really thinking in thinking about how would you use or when would you use Quizlet to support the student learning? And then you'll, I think you'll, you can identify the different pieces of um, our strategies that will support it. Uh, the learning intention for this session is that you're learning about Quizlet and Quizlet Live and how it can be utilized in the classroom. Um, I'm saying to provide opportunities to respond, but once again, think about those instructional strategies uh, and your purpose, and you might find that it's supporting another strategy. And then you'll know you're successful when you can describe what Quizlet is and identify some various features. And then I just encourage you to think and brainstorm of connections to the content area that you teach. So let's start with what is Quizlet? It's a study-based tool on, it's like a flashcard or quiz style to recall facts. Uh, it's a website, so any device that can connect to the internet um, and connect to Wi-Fi can access Quizlet. Uh, users can be teachers and students who create and then test themselves on study sets that they either find or create. Uh, you might actually find that you have students in your classrooms, especially secondary students who are already utilizing Quizlet. I actually was talking to my niece who's now in college uh, and she was actually telling me how she uses Quizlet. So you might find that you already have students who have their own accounts. They've been using it as a part of their own study habits. Uh, Quizlet also contains a database of study sets that are already created, uh, and I'm going to talk about what study sets are in just a moment, but that's really nice to know that if you're looking for something specific, you can always search, um, and it might already be created for you. Uh, study sets can include text-based and also visual study materials, meaning you can include pictures. Um, you can also include audio. Uh, something with Quizlet is there is a free version versus an upgraded subscription. Uh, with the upgraded sub subscription, you get a little bit more of the bells and whistles. So while you can add some images to your study sets, you're going to be limited with the free version. With the paid version, you actually can upload your own photos. You can even add audio. Uh, with Quizlet, there's different activities, and I'll show you those in just a moment. The flashcards, something called learn, test, and match. It also provides some in-class activities as a way for you to gamify uh, the learning experience for the students uh, to help with that recall and the memorization of these um, words and definitions. So what you're seeing on the screen now is just a glimpse into my Quizlet account. Each rectangle is represent a different study set that I've either brought in or created in in my account. The one that's being circled right now is one that I created for Canyons Online when I was supporting with the building of their Lifetime Fitness course. Uh, in the original course that I was looking at, they had a slideshow, like a PowerPoint PDF of the different vocabulary terms that students should become familiar with in the class. And so what I did is created a study set, um, a set of vocabulary words and phrases and definitions um, and embedded them right into the Canvas course so that students didn't just have a list of, court, of, of um, vocabulary words that they needed to be familiar with throughout their study. Uh, it actually provided a way for them to study, whether it was like a flashcard format, a way to quiz themselves. Um, they had that option if they needed it. So this is clicking into one of those study sets, so the Lifetime Fitness one that I created. Um, over here on the right-hand side, you're going to see there's a list of terms and the definitions. This is what I added. I added them one by one. Uh, something nice about Quizlet is if it's a word that's familiar or um, it will try to guess or autofill in the definition for you. So if I type in physical fitness and start typing out the definition, it does a pretty good job of knowing what the definition should be, which you can accept and have it autofill for you or you just ignore it and keep typing out your definition. Uh, this is also where, if I wanted to bring in pictures or audio, you have that option as well based on the subscription you have. 
So this is creating the study set where you just see that list of terms. And then on the left hand side, this is where like what you're seeing where my mouse is circling where it says physical fitness. This is the flashcard view where how it works is you just tap on the card. You see, you know, the word or the definition on the other side, you see the actual definition or word. Um, let me go to this slide here. So this is kind of what it looks like. The flashcard, just think of like a paper flashcard that you have one word, something on one side, something on the other, and you're just flipping it over and testing. And then the arrow allows you to go to the different um, words and phrases. Test is where it will give, here's the definition, here's the word. Is this the right definition with the right word? Yes or no, true or false. This one right here where my face is covering, see if I can move it. Um, this is the learn where it'll have the definition or the word, and then you have to match what it coincides with. And then this one, the match is where you have the word and the phrase or the word and the definition and you're matching them together. You do have some other options with the subscribed version of how you can test your knowledge, but for the free version, this is what students and you would get access to. So with Quizlet, you do have to have an account in order to create and find uh, Quizlets. So the directions here just provide some directions for you as the teacher, how to sign up. Um, when you're signing up, you can choose a lot, you know, continue with Google. You can just log in with your, your email if you'd like. Uh, make sure you do check that you're a teacher because uh, with the teacher, if you there is a way for you to create a class and basically either create and curate Quizlet study sets for your specific group of students, and then you could invite students there if you choose to go that route. But something with Quizlet is if you create a Quizlet set, you don't have to require students to have an account to access them. There are ways for you to share them with your students, and I'll talk about that um, a little bit later. But as I mentioned earlier, you may find that you do have students who actually already have their own Quizlet account um, because they're already using it for their own study habits for maybe some other classes or coursework that they're, they're completing. Uh, so when completing a study set, um, I have directions on this slide, but what I'm going to do is just go over to Quizlet.com. Um, I'm logged into my account. So first, let me show you how you can find a study set. Um, there is a search option, so I'm already logged in. Um, with the study session, if I know I'm doing educational law, and I'm using that as an example because um, when I was going to the University of Utah, one of the classes was educational law and policy, and so some colleagues and I actually created up some study sets based on the vocabulary terms we were needing to be familiar with, but I can also go out and look and see what study sets are already there. So I can search, I can actually click, and I can see what's available, and I can star them, I can um, save them to my study sets if I would like, but one way to, to search so I don't have to just always create. But when it comes to creating a study set, you just click on the plus sign that's next to your profile picture, and you'll see where there is a way for you to create a class. I'm not really diving too deep into that with this bite-sized PD, but if that interests you as a teacher, you can definitely explore what is it like to create a class. I think of it as a way to curate and maybe collect things for my students and a way to share it with them um, so they can come into Quizlet, enter our class, and they have access. Um, but to create the study set, I just click on study set. You give it a name. You give it a description. Um, it's basically auto. I don't know why it's autofilling. But anyway, yours will not autofill. Mine is right now. But you can type your definition here or your word here and the definition. If you want to add an image, this is where you can click on image. Um, I'm with the free version, so I am a little limited on what I can. Um, I'm basically stuck with what they're going to provide for me. But you'll see where I can actually um, upload my own image. But this is the Quizlet Plus feature. Um, or there is a way to provide a multiple choice option. So you'll see anything with a lock just represents if you want access to that, you have to have the upgraded subscription. Um, in our district, we have had some schools who have paid for subscriptions for their teachers. I can't guarantee your, your admin will always do that, but um, it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, there is the audio feature. Like I said, this is where you could actually add audio. I think this is actually a fabulous feature to have if you have some multilingual students, especially if you're trying to help them get familiar with the vocabulary being used, like how to pronounce it and things like that. Um, but you'll see, I can go through, I can, let me add a card, because if I do, um, I'll do a mango. 
notice how it is um it will try to autofill for me and i can definitely choose the one that's coming up if it fits the definition or i can just continue typing what i want it to be and then when i done i'm done i just click create and it will become one of the study sets that's available in my um in my account so that is creating the study sets um, and i showed you how to find the study set um, i want to talk about how you can share the study set with your students because you have two options you have the option to either provide a link um, by you know getting having the link generated from quizlet and just providing the link to your students whether you send it to them um, in canvas or if you use like other messaging systems like parent square or even remind you can just give them the link or a feature that I really like, um, I feel like I like Canvas as a way to support online and even blended learning opportunities. You can actually um, either post the link to Canvas or you can actually embed it right on the page. Um, the example I have here is you'll see where I actually have essential vocabulary for a course I was teaching. I am able to add directions or information above it. I'm able to embed the Quizlet right on the page and then I have more information below. So it can, it can be based in context. It's not just embedding it. And, and you can do what works best for you or um, the context of your own classroom. But I really love the embed feature in Canvas as a way to really help direct students of what I'm, I'm hoping they'll, they'll do with it. Um, so going into Quizlet, if I go into like educational acronyms is what I did with teachers. It's always fun. We have a lot of acronyms in our... <laughs> in our profession. So you'll see where I have my um, study set here. Oops, I didn't mean to go out of it. Um, if I scroll down, the three little dots here is where I can get the embed code or um, there was this little share option where I can get the link. So you have those two different options for you. And once again, if you um, go the route of creating a class in Quizlet for, your, for the group of students you have, um, you would teach your, your students how to access your class, and then um, you can curate the resources there. Uh, the next few things on here is Quizlet Live and Quizlet Checkpoint. This is where you can do some in-class activities with your students. So notice how when I'm in my Quizlet, I'm actually in my study set, I have the self-study activity options here, those flashcards, the matching opportunity. Above that, I have something called Classic Live and I also have the Checkpoint. Um, they both look very similar and they act similar in nature. The difference is Classic Live has students either working independently or with a, a group of students and they're answering the questions in real time, getting through as many are, that are available in the study set. Um, it's almost like they're racing against each other. Uh, the Checkpoint is a little bit more teacher driven where you still have students working independently or with groups, but then after each um, term or definition, it stops for you to talk about before you move on. Um, so let me show you Classic Live. So to do Classic Live, when you click on it, you are asked as the teacher to do, is it random teams or individuals? If I select, um, do I want to see the term and then the definition or the definition and the term? This is acronym, so it's like, do I wanna see uh, the acronym as the options with what the acronym stands for as the main thing they see and vice versa. So I'll just click the first. So now, this option, students, if they have a device like a phone, if you wanted students to use their phones for this, they can scan the QR code and I might have to move my face in order to do this. So I just have a phone in my hand and I'm just using the camera feature to scan the QR code. Let's try. I might have a glare on my phone. Oh man. Or they can also go to Quizlet Live. I'm gonna go to new so it's Quizlet.live. And then they'll be asked to type in the code. And this code is unique to the session that you are starting. Um, so one student has joined and you'll see as students join, the names appear. Let me try the phone one more time. I think it's gonna work this time. So 
So when I scan, same thing. I don't have to enter the code. The scan just gets me right into where I can type in my name. And so as you're watching this, if students are um, using inappropriate names or whatever, you can always X out and have them log in again um, and join. So now you're going to see, so now if I create the game, so you have to have at least two students to do this. When I create the game, it's gonna automatically assign students um, a, like a, an animal, so it's anonymous. And so with my individual person, I am a peacock, and this person here is the dolphin, and it says, hang tight, waiting for the game to start. So as the teacher, I still have to start the game. And when I start it, as I'm answering, and I'm just going to do this person first. Um, notice how as I go through, it's going to let me know. And my person here, so you can see what it looks like. They see it, and they're choosing what the right answer is. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just letting you see what it looks like. Um, it's auto going to the next um, option. So when I come back to my Quizlet Live, I can see how they're progressing. So every time they get it right, it's, their little person's going to keep moving forward. If they get it wrong, it goes back. With the goal of um, out of the 11, get all 11 accurate. So that's the Quizlet Live. Um, the checkpoint, uh, what's interesting is same type of idea, but it's a little bit more teacher directed where the kids don't just keep going from one word to the next to the next. They'll get it and then the teacher can see, okay, how are we doing? Let's talk about it. You can actually see how students guess um, one definition versus another. It, it, the, the checkpoint gives me the idea of, uh, it's more like a Kahoot type fill if you've ever done the Kahoot before. Um, and at the end, you can actually get an overview of how the students did. Um, with the free version, it doesn't save this um, summary for you. So if you have the free version, I always say just take a screenshot if you want it. But it could be another um, reason why upgrading to the plus version might be something you want if that's going to be benefit, a benefit to you. If you upgrade for that purpose, I would strongly recommend you utilize the data to support you with supporting those students. Um, but like I said, my experience, I've just stuck with the free version for me, but I know there's teachers out there who are really important. Um, utilized all the features in Quizlet, so it made sense for them to upgrade. So this was a really quick overview and rundown of Quizlet Live and the Quizlet, Quizlet and Quizlet Live. If you want to learn more, this um, presentation has links to a teacher's guide to Quizlet, which is where some of those screenshots I shared in my presentation, that's where they came from. And then the Quizlet Help Center, there's so much help out there. One thing I like about Quizlet is that it's a pretty intuitive and easy program to use. And I know the word easy, very subjective, because what might be easy to is not easy to me and vice versa. Um, so if this is interesting to you, I just recommend you get and try it out um, and get familiar with it. Make some mistakes, um, see what you're liking about it, and start using it. Uh, I'm also here as a resource. My name is Camille. Um, my email is on the screen, camille.coletcanyonsdistrict.org. I am happy to talk through anything with you, provide additional support and feedback or training. Uh, just let me know. And I also know um, instructional coaches that are at our different schools are familiar with Quizlet as well. I know they're happy to help you also. So thank you for watching this Bite Size PD, and I hope you get in and try it out. And let me know if there's ever anything I can do to help.